Right now is the best time to grow, not the worst. This year, we probably created an extra maybe 100 plus million dollars in the businesses that we work with at our events and our seminars. And these are probably the five key hottest tips that I would give to other business owners in 2023. Number one, I would have to say would be work on your mindset more than anything. And it's something that so many business owners just don't do. There are only two things that are gonna help someone grow in any area of life. Number one is skill set. Number two is mindset. Now, if you think about it, most people stuff up the mindset part and that's the biggest area of growth. You can give someone the best tools, tips and advice, yet they won't follow it if their mindset's not right. So when I look at professional athletes or when I've been working with business owners, the biggest gap that most people have is the mindset not only on the owner but also within the organization if you can work on people's mindsets you get the biggest growth number two in order to grow your business in 2023 is know who you're surrounding yourself with i meet so many business owners who go to the pub on a friday afternoon and they sit around and they all talk and complain about how shit staff are all the problems in the industry blah blah blah, blah and then they wonder why they're stuck if you're not hanging around people that are forward thinking and are effectively tackling problems, you're just probably gonna be consumed by problems. Make sure you are filtering the people that you're surrounding yourself with, putting in good advice into your head, really making sure that the people that you're surrounding yourself with are tackling problems effectively. My third tip to grow your business in 2023 is make sure you don't get caught up in drama. Every time we go through these growth cycles as industries or as economies, the media will always grab hold of it and they take small little portions of that industry and then they they blow it all out of proportion and then everyone over dramatizes things. So right now you've got a housing industry that's supposedly collapsing and they're showing you every week that there is a new builder that's going bust. This stuff happens in a normal cycle anyway. So just be careful that you're not getting caught up in drama. If you're not working on your mindset and you're not working on your emotions and you're not creating certainty, then you're not gonna push through. Tip number four, if you wanna grow your business in 2023, and that is know your numbers. Numbers don't lie, but people do. And I don't mean that people want to lie. It's just that when you ask someone, how's everything going? And they say, everything's going great, especially if they're a staff member. Are they giving you the full truth or are they just giving you what they think is going on? When you know the numbers, you can actually look at the numbers and break the whole business apart to see what's working and what's not working. Whether it's sales numbers, marketing numbers, the finance and cash flow numbers, whether it's your profit and loss, you need to know those numbers. And especially most small business owners don't like looking at numbers. And so they take people's word on what's working, what's not working in their organization until things fall apart. And most business owners are just in this consistent tackling problem mode where they're stressed out and burnt out because they're not looking at their numbers. This is tip number five to growing your business in 2023. You always need to know where your gaps are. So do you need to work on your leadership skills? Do you need to work on your management skills? Because they're two completely different skill sets, whether it's a small business, whether it's a scaling business, whether it's a startup business, you need to know where your gaps are because as a business owner, you need to keep adapting and growing, which is why tip number one is so important. Because if you're not working on your mindset and you're always working on the skill sets, you might have the right skill sets, but not the right mindsets to execute things effectively. As business owners, we always need to be working on our mindset first and then our skill set second so that we're executing and implementing and you've got to know where your gaps are and you've got to close those gaps up fast. Most people waste their life and I just don't want you to be one of them.